In this lecture, I'm going to cover the SSH agent. When you work with Jenkins slaves, those slaves also need access to repositories. A mistake I often see is that people customize the software on their slave. Like they install custom software, custom node versions rather than using the plugin or Docker images. And they also use private keys and credentials. And those often end up on the slaves. You need credentials and private keys to log in to Git or to log into any API or to use Slack. And either you use credentials and then they are nicely distributed, or you put your private keys in the credentials and then you need to specify a few lines in your Jenkins file, but you can never just copy over those private keys and credentials as plain files to your slaves because that is not best practice. If they end up on the slaves, it makes it more difficult to scale out the slaves because then adding another slave suddenly means that you have to manually start copying over credentials and private keys and maybe have to install software as well. For SSH keys, the solution is to use an SSH agent when you want to use commands that need SSH keys in the pipeline itself. So I'm not really talking about checking out your repository because that can be handled by the credentials in Jenkins. It's when you are within the pipelines, within the code, and you want to use an SSH key. You can then use the SSH agent. The SSH agent will run on the master and will contain the private keys that are necessary to authenticate to the external systems that you need access to. Predominantly, this is a GitHub or Bitbucket private key to get access to the repositories. When you then need access to a system that uses SSH keys or a Git repository within the Jenkins file, you can wrap the SSH agent around your code to be able to authenticate to those systems. The SSH agent uses the same keys stored within your credentials. So you already probably stored the SSH key within your credentials. SSH agent can just use those. And then when you call SSH agent within your Jenkins file, then you can use those SSH agents to connect to a system or to execute Git commands. To make it really clear, I will show that in the next demo.